Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Nothing to Prove. My name is Tina, this is my Triumph Trident and today I'm going to show you how to attach the MRA windscreen to my bike. The reason why we picked MRA is because Cut is quite familiar with this brand. He used to have an MRA windscreen on his 900 XR and also on the bike before that, the Super Duke R. So I hope you're going to come along and join me in this little project. So all that you need in this next step of the assembly is this little 3mm Allen wrench. And with this wrench we are going to attach all the parts that came in the kit from MRA. You can see the brackets here, then you can see the screws with the washers, then the shoulders, then the o-ring, and we also have to attach this to the bracket first. Then later on we are going to replace the original bolts that are still sitting in here with the ones that came with MRA. And last but not least we are going to put on a little cap. So what we are going to do now, we are going to put in this little part into the brackets. And as you can see I've cheated a little bit. I've already put in these three parts over here because I quite honestly didn't want to look too stupid in the video. So now I'm going to show you how you put this in. You pick up the bracket, you push it in, push and rotate from the outside and then it sits in. And this is it. Quite easy, isn't it? So now we have to add this bracket to the screen. But as you can see, we need to prep the screen a little bit first before we can attach the bracket. I've already mounted these three and I'm going to show you how to insert the last one. So you take this screw, you push it through from the outside, then you put on a shoulder and then this tiny little o-ring to hold it in place and all you really need to do is roll it down. There, finished. Now we are going to attach the bracket and you can see this part is going onto the inside. So what I have to do is line this up. I'm lining this up. There. And now I have to add pressure to everything. I'm going to push this down here and now I'm going to start loosely tightening the screw from the other side. So as you can see now I have attached the brackets to the inside of the windshield and you can see I, I put them on but not too tight though so they are still flexing a little bit. And what I will have to do now is I'm going to take the windscreen over to the bike and then we will have to attach everything on this side over here and over here. But before we get to this point, I will have to remove the bolts that I showed you earlier on. This one and the other one over here because they're simply not long enough so they wouldn't be able to hold the windscreen. So let's do this. So guys, what I'm going to use next is this torque wrench over here with a hexix head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to untighten the bolts on both sides. And for that, I'm just going to feed it in here. Square it, square it up and then I'm going to go up and up and up and I will have to repeat it until I can manually remove the bolt. There, screw number one is out and here you can see the different size of the two bolts. This was the OEM bolt and look at how much longer the new one is going to be. Now that we have taken out the OEM bolt we are ready to mount the windscreen onto the bike. So I'm going to put this down 
And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick up this bolt. I'm going to feed it in here like this. See this little washer? Then I need to take the shoulder with me. I'm going to put it on. And now we are going to walk over to the bike and attach it. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed this bolt in here. Yeah. And all you need to do is fasten it down. Okay, guys. Now you can see that the windshield is already on the bike, but of course everything until now was only hand fastened. You can see we still have a little bit of flex here in the windscreen. And so in the next step, I'm going to use the torque wrench to snug everything just down a little bit to give it more stability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Just do it a little bit. There. And now I'm going to walk over to the other side. Do the exact same thing. So now that we have taken care of the two bolts and snug them in, in the next step I want to tighten down the screws on the windscreen. And you can see I've changed tools because this is easier to, to handle. And as I'm screwing here on the outside, you can see how it's being fastened on the inside. And that's what we want to show you. There, this is snug. Can you see anything? Looks good. Looks good? Okay, then we are going to do the next one. So guys, now that you can see that I'm finishing up here, in the final step, we are going to tighten down the mounting bolts and it's going to take 26 newton meters. So I'm going to pick up this again. And now we have to wait until we hear the click. And then we know that it's on correctly. There was the first one. Okay. This one is done. Okay, and in the final step, for cosmetic reasons maybe also, we are just going to put on the end caps. There, this was number one. And number two. Ta-da! Finished! So guys, as you can see, my little project is finished. It's done. The windshield is on. It has a nice black color and I really like it. And again, it was not too difficult to mount it and if I can do it, you can do it too. So, you guys, have a good day, take care and see you next time.